guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my really short time at H&R Block. Um, I honestly kind of forgot that I worked there because like I said, it was a really short time. So I had actually gotten hired at H&R Block as a seasonal um, receptionist. And I, so I interviewed at a location that's like two, not, it's like the next city over from me. Okay, so it was really weird. It was like, if you're familiar with the LA area at all, which a couple of people, like a good majority of people are. So that's like me applying for a location over in downtown, but I was sent to interview over in like Hollywood. And then it like, it didn't make much sense. And then my orientation was, would be over in like Beverly Hills. Like they were all neighboring cities, but it was weird, especially for, at the time, I was, like, I didn't drive, so it was weird for me to have to jump from all these different areas, and, like, um, my roommate at the time, or my roommates at the time, they were driving me to these, um, interviews, and I, I told them, like, it's okay, it's okay, because, like, once I actually start this job, it's gonna be across the street from the house anyway, so I'm not gonna need rides like this anymore, um, and they're like, yeah, sure, that's fine, so I, I applied online, because I was really desperate to get out of the job that I was in at the time, which was Target, uh, little did I know this job was also awful I applied online uh, I think I had just typed in jobs hiring near me or jobs hiring in and in my city um, or like a neighboring city that wasn't like that I was also familiar with and then that opening had popped up so I applied and then I did my uh, interview which was really good it was really fast but um, it wasn't really fast but it was like it the, the vibes were good, you know? So I felt really good, I felt really confident, and I felt really proud of myself for applying to H&R Block. Like, you don't really hear many people in college, out of high school, that were working at a tax office, you know? Um, so I was like, yeah, this would be good for me. I was wrong. So I went and I did my orientation at like a couple cities over, which was weird, and I was supposed to be paid for it, but they never actually paid me but I also really just wanted out of that job, so I don't really, I didn't really care to like, you know, hunt them down for 40 bucks. But yeah, whatever. Um, I was like missing out on some emails, so they, like the person, the, the woman that was in charge of my orientation said, okay, well, somebody should talk to you about this, and like whoever your like district head is should talk to you about this. And I'm, in my head, I was like, wait, that's you. So you missed out on sending me an email and now you're mad at me for it, like this is weird. And then she said, okay, well you should have gotten your office keys at your orientation. And I said, I told her, I said, you were in charge of my orientation and I ain't never got no office keys, so I don't know what you want me to do. And then so she sends out this mass text to the other people that were at my orientation and said that we needed to be at this, at the office in this next city over, or like a couple cities over. Uh, if you and she said if you weren't there by 5 p.m. tonight to pick up your office keys consider yourself fired and To me that was just wild because she knew that I didn't have a car and she and like didn't bother to ask like I work if I work today or not like what my schedule would be like and I was a new hire and also like How are you just gonna hand office keys? Like how am I how was I supposed to just send my roommate to go pick up my office keys for me? While I'm at work, so then I tried to message her about it and then she said, be there at five. And I said, what? So then I just kind of considered it like after a week, like I didn't have that job anymore. Because the way that, that she, that, the way that that was handled was ridiculous. Honestly, ridiculous. Um, but there were a lot of people at my orientation who had been seasonal the year before and really loved it and decided to come back. Uh, because I think one lady, she was like, she's like uh, saying that she was a, a teacher and then like during her time off like she would go and do that with H&R Block and she thought it was really fun um, and different and get, like being able to put your foot in that like office lifestyle without, without actually being you know in charge of a full office and I thought that was cool um, but yeah so that was my really short time at H&R Block um, I think I have my notes somewhere too because I remember my roommates were so proud of me for getting this job that they all bought me like supplies and equipment or like like 
they all bought me like supplies and took me shopping to buy like office appropriate outfits and all that kind of stuff for work um, and then nothing came of it so yeah I would say really just be careful um, but also I was like 18 19 so I would say fucking stand up for yourself during situations like that because that is not cool to just same day I think she had messaged us at like 3 p.m. to be at this office by 5 that's just not gonna happen for somebody that doesn't have a car like I have to figure out my transportation um, so for the seasonal period I know that a lot of young people might not have have easy access to their own car um, so just don't be afraid to speak up for yourself stand up for yourself especially when it comes to work and job related things because you are no longer a child when you're at work you are now a young adult you are an adult you have to be there for yourself you have to stand up for yourself your parents are not going to be there for you with you at these jobs so if you feel like something isn't right or something should be handled differently say something speak up because if you don't then nobody else will know how you feel and nobody else will be able to fix that issue but you and even then it won't even be able to be addressed unless you say something that's what i learned from h&r block um fuck them that is all thank you <laughs> I, I mean honestly i was only there for like a week so i don't have much to say about it but um i mean if you have any questions like feel free to message me but like that was almost two years ago now i think i was working for them spring of 2019 and i was really upset that it didn't work out thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you found it to be somewhat helpful or entertaining or interesting or whatever. Uh, comment down below if you have any other questions or if you have any, I don't know, video ideas for me. Um, subscribe if you want. Hit the notification bell if you want. Um, my social media is going to be all in the description box. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.